Retro Rat here coming at you with another pickups video. Today is October 9th, 2015. Today I'm going to show you some various things that I've purchased. Uh, either at GameStop, eBay, local video game stores. Tons of great stuff here. Um, first one to go with eBay. Uh, it was $11 buy it now with $3.26 or $2.26 shipping. Uh, it was the case and manual for Toe Jam and Earl. I already have the case and game. So I messaged my buddy Jeremy. I said, hey, do you want to go split these on the lot? And you can take the case. And he goes, absolutely. So now I have a complete copy. He has a complete copy. Everyone's got a complete copy. That was awesome. Uh, yesterday, our son was being fussy. Uh, wouldn't go down for a nap. Uh, he's been recently sick. Uh, double ear infection, double eye infection. And as you can hear in my voice, I got a sinus infection myself. Uh, went to GameStop just because I wanted to go for a car ride to put him to sleep. Uh, so, wife stayed in the car with him while I went in GameStop. I literally just walked in the GameStop to kill time. However, I got Akai Katana, which is a shooter on the Xbox 360, for $6.99. And as I'm at the checkout, they just got this one in. It's a steelbook. It was $0.89. Cents. I am a sucker for steelbooks under a dollar. Turning Point Fall of Liberty for the Xbox 360. I don't know if I'll ever play this, but it's a steelbook. And it's 100% complete for a dollar. That's awesome. All right. Now we're going to go into J Street. Hopefully, you've watched my PlayStation Vita RPG video by now. Uh, and I mentioned that there were three games that I didn't get at the video game store instead of getting the RPGs. Uh, I was able to get two of the three back. Marvel vs. Capcom. Power Stone. And then while I was there, I was also able to pick up silver. And for some reason, I don't own this yet. And that is the original Tetris. And it is a mint copy. And it was priced at $9.99, which is cheap for a complete box copy because the majority of Tetris copies came with the pack and with the system. All right. Now we're going to go into Saturday's finds. Saturday it rained. Couldn't go garage sale -in. Wife was going to do arts and crafts at her parents' house uh, with her sister and her mother and asked me if I wanted to join. Well, we knew the answer was no. Uh, I would. I wanted to do game hunting. So I went, spent eight hours. I traveled all over the place. I did over 150 miles in my car. Thrift stores, pawn shops, game stores. The very last store I went to uh, was Classic Game Junkie and I wound up picking up two games with credit I had with the gentleman and that was... Tech Romancer, another Capcom game for the Dreamcast, and El Viento. This is a renovation title, which they made some pretty solid uh, games for the Sega Genesis. Guys, there's an awesome eBay pickup right now. Enjoy it. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Retro Rad here. Uh, today is October 9th, 2015. Uh, thanks for watching that uh, prior pickup section. This right here is a giant eBay lot that I scored and also a uh, purchase I did with my buddy Jeremy. We're going to jump into the eBay score. I honestly don't remember if I asked a question on the other segment. So in the comments down below, if I already asked a question, you can answer that one or this one or both. You can make my day. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's up to you. Comments down below. Uh, what was the last eBay or online Amazon purchase that you were super happy with? This one right here, I am extremely stoked. I actually got to the house. Uh, my wife called me and said, hey, are you expecting any packages? I go, yeah, I am. I'm expecting actually four uh, because the person said they shipped it in three small boxes because they couldn't fit them. She goes, well, all three boxes are soaked. Here's one of the boxes to give you an idea on how soaked they were. Luckily, the seller actually bubble wrapped everything inside so no water actually penetrated any of the lot, which I was going to be extremely upset if the stuff got damaged. Um, it was an NES. Uh, the whole lot cost me $350. Uh, we're going to go with all the normal stuff first. Uh, cords, cables, two controllers zapper and then we're going to go with all the loose games uh, the first one is ultimate league soccer in messed up condition 
two copies of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Legend of Zelda, Link, two copies of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, two copies of Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, Rad Racer, Mario 2, Mario 3, Donkey Kong 3, which is going to be a funny thing shortly. Section Z with the manual. Uh, Pro Wrestling with some uh, paint on it. Jack Knack. Top Secret Go Go 13. Tiger Heli or Healy. Uh, Tecmo Bowl. Iron Sword Wizards of Warriors Dose. Gyrus. Millipede. Hoops. Super Spike V Ball World Cup. RC Pro Am. Bomberman. Uh, Gyromite. Five Scrow. But it doesn't feel heavy, so it's probably not anything special. Robocop. Two copies of Gradius. Uh, this one is five screw. Again, doesn't feel like it's going to have a uh, uh, converter in it. Uh, ice hockey, two copies. Top Gun. Double Dragon 3. Akari Warriors. Kung Fu. And World Class Track Meet. Those were all the loose cards. Keep in mind, this is a $350 lot. And right then and there, I think that that's a pretty solid lot for 350 These are box onlys. Uh, Donkey Kong 3, I mean, sorry, World Tecmo Wrestling. But someone decided to write Donkey Kong 3 in Sharpie. I don't know why. And they actually crossed out World Wrestling. That, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, Alien Syndrome, which I've never played it before. But it looks like a Contra-style clone don't know about that one. Uh, Skater Die 2. Life Force. Airwolf. And Baseball. Those were all just empty boxes um, that I guess he couldn't find the games or whatnot for. These are all games inside the boxes, no manuals. Ice Hockey. Iron Tank. Metal Gear Solid. Or actually, it's Metal Gear there. Othello, Silent Service, Afterburner, Platoon, Robo Warrior, Hogan's Alley, Gunsmoke, Bases Loaded 1, Bases Loaded 2, Infiltrator, Robocop, Fax Anadu, or Fox Undo. Uh, Bad News Baseball, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, uh, The Magic of Charizard, A Gorilla War, and Star Soldier. If you notice, there's a lot of shooters in, the, in this, uh, this lot. Very happy about that. I'm actually extremely happy about the boxes in general. Uh, they're not in the greatest condition. But I don't have most of these boxes, so I'm going to be adding a lot of games to my collection, uh, minus after I need to get some manuals. These are all complete in box. Star Voyager, 720, Astanix, uh, but I'm going to need another copy of that. I can't put that in my collection. Target Renegade, Vindicators, Air Fortress. Again, lots of shooters. Wall Street Kid, which I just need the manual, so that's awesome. Uh, Destination Earth Defense, right? No, Earth Star. X-Men, which is actually a really fun game. Uh, it's very corny. Uh, if you play it nowadays, in comparison to the X-Men 4 Sega Genesis. But when I first played that, that was an awesome game. Cybernoid. Shinobi. Which I actually never played the Genesis for uh, the NES version. Big fan of the Genesis one. Uh, Skater Die. Rescue the Embassy Mission. 
and the worst game, probably in my opinion, on the NES, Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum. I remember this game by me going to a flea market. My mom gave me $5 to spend, and I bought it based on the cover. Look at the cover. I mean, it was just a cartridge that I bought with the same cover as right on the cartridge. That looked awesome. The game was garbage. Complete garbage. Okay, like I said, three fifty on that entire lot. Awesome, awesome deal. My buddy hooked me up, Jeremy, with this limited edition for $45 shipped. Tales of Exilia. I have all the other ones sealed. I'm probably looking for one of these sealed as well, but I'll take a complete copy just to start. Um, this one came with the game, the figurine, the soundtrack, and then the uh, art book. Uh, awesome. Thank you, Jeremy. And again, leave the comments down below. Give me the thumbs up, guys, and have a great day.